Hey, hello. This is Martin from Secrets, the channel for learning about trading and investing. Welcome to Quick Market Analysis for May 16, Tuesday, 2023. Tomorrow. It's a Fin expiry, Fin Nifty F expiry also expire for tomorrow. So let's get into the charts. Basically, we would, uh, you know, uh, analyze the charts using the technical analysis uh, techniques and uh, try to understand uh, and learn from it and then plan for a better trade for the next day. That's what we do. Right. So here's the charts. So it's the Nifty charts that you're seeing here and the bank Nifty after that. So Nifty, you see, you can clearly see a rounding pattern. So it's in a climb, it's approaching that. It also has an ascending wedge, right, which is narrowing at the top. There is a possibility of a breakdown from that and then, you know, um, that possibility is there so uh, as you can see today's candle is white range the range is good so there is some profit working that happened at the end of the day otherwise it was trending into the market of the nifty 20 dma 200 dma is all far far from south all is rising up and trend is also rising up and also on so absolute continuation of the rally extension of the rally with more gains but heading towards a crucial resistance zone that's what you're seeing there, Nifty. And Nifty also has a rounding pattern, but you know, that is also into the neckline zones. And a solid wide range bullish green candle is what you see there for the second day consecutive. It also has an ascending wedge, you know, which is could be bearish in nature if it breaks down from that. And momentum is bullish, no doubt about that. Moving average, moving averages are all the down there, so. The thing is, Bank Nifty made all, all, all touched the all time high levels of 44, 151.7, so just a decimal point, point one zero point zero from the new all time high, you know, 0.15. So it, it almost touched that 44, 151 all time high. So it's it's in the verge, of, you know, it's in the verge of a breakout from here. Would that be easy? Or would that going to take some time, for some kind of consolidation may be happening here? You never know that, but that's a question. Million, million, million dollar question out there is, you know, is it going to be a smooth breakout? So normally markets does not do such smooth things, right? A healthy rally would always have some pullbacks. So, you know, let's get to see what all things are in favor of the bulls. So it's a green range. Oh, sorry. There's a mistake. It was not a range mount. You see, last week's, so it was clear, you know, green up move that has happened wine range bullish can move with almost half of us up move um, because nifty you know gave up some profit in the end so, and 0.64 you no know, uh, more bullish up move that has happened with the bank nifty so it's closed above just below the 18400 so it's closed above the 18350 uh, uh, and 44000 you know uh, is a rounding number psychological rounding number is also concord in the bank so in trendy it is all trending as i said earlier some of them will be happened at the end right so it's a rounding pattern we're all seen spreading out of that you know it is attempting to sell in a client trend resistances are all taken out in order to ensure patterns of all nifty spreading out of that spreading out of the previous the trend line resistances you know previous swing highs are all taken taken away one by one right uh, and it's heading all towards the all-time high zones on the nifty as well so both indices are bullish momentum you no know, absolutely on um, both time frames weekly as well as uh, short-term daily time frames and there is a bang if it divergence just in play right it's bullish in nature uh, momentum divergence is what you talk about trend indicators adx is bullish again or moving average supports are down there far away 20 and 50 100 200 all the exponential moving average and bollinger bands are showing this an expansion in the upside bullish absolutely bullish and almost getting to working on the bands concept of which is extreme bullishness and india which is uh, still remains 13.17 so the lower voltage you regime and uh, the, 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 the biggest thing is that the fires are buying for the 13th day when the u.s market are struggling six one six eight five courses are buying that happened today so that is absolutely what is holding the market and making it more you know, for some reasons that we don't know if i as are buying concrete across the major industry sectors if you see fmc reality also they are all the positions and rising up it metal pharma maintains the sign this it is recovered and counting the sideways and more enough the early sector performed four percent up more from breaking out of the parallel channel the weekly basis 
So major heavyweights as is a bank line, bank lines are all in the bullish zones in the short term. And the HDFC twins and the TC is remaining the sideways one down the daily charts. In three is only one which is just trying to climb back on the sideways one, but still at resistance may be a zone. So otherwise, no bullishness is all across the sectors and all across the major heavyweights that contribute maximum to the Nifty 50 index. And put call ratio, the open interest analysis, if you see that again, it's, it's bullish, it's greater than 1.25 and 1.41 or something in bang, it'd be that's extreme bullish, right? And open interest in the futures showing that it's also bullish, but it's a long build up that has happened today. So, you know, open interest is also showing that it's a few days away from weekly expiry that's coming on next Thursday. So, most of the factors remain to be absolutely in favor of the bulls. Now, what's in favor of the bears? Very few factors. Now, one is the ascending words that I showed. Whenever it's narrowing down the top, there's a chance that it can break down. So that's one of the short term charts so that break down may be small. Right? That would be the repression that may happen after probably it may happen after the breakout happens, or probably you know before that you know all that. So it's also the neckline of a rounding pattern. We have seen that already. Alright, just to go back. We have a rounding pattern neckline. So we are at that zone on both indices, we are at the neckline. So unless in Italy a sonic green candle goes above that, you no, know, we still have this uncertainty. That's what we Bills may be banking on, right? So there could be pullbacks or reverses that can happen because of the resistance that appear in the neckline of the rounding patterns, right? As in the it's the same thing. So here we are talking about daily charts that you see. So, US market is the mother market and such resistance trying to break out showing red and resistance and has been staying at the top of the descending wedge on the you know, major indices like Dow Jones and uh, as in we find that they have resistance that's in a congestion zone, does not come out of that. So, either there is big reversals that you know that may happen. No, hopefully not. Those inflation has come down. The market may rally and then regain. And no, uh, right now we are outperforming the US market. So, but uh, no, no, big moves in there could impact uh, and cause pullbacks in our market. Also, yeah, it goes on back. The VIX is steadily spiking. That's an unusual thing. And the market is breaking out and making all time highs. VIX is big, creating spikes today also 2.5 percent. Then there are four or five days, uh, several three days. That's what is happening. Market moves up still. The VIX is moving up, which is that divergent things and something. Mm, that may be indicating that it's more real, not for real or some pullbacks may come in or something, right? So, so there's a divergence out there, we are the first of all. Rupee remains to be weak and then it's rising up once again, not of the dollar has slightly, you know, cooled over in this last several weeks. So rupee spiking up to 82.2 in the remaining weeks and not appreciating is a concern, you know, uh, you know to the economy as such and natural to the it will impact the market as well. So these are a few things that are in viewers, you know, other than that, all of those are different the bulls mostly. So what do we expect? So we'll just consolidate what we are analyzed. So it's an extension of the gains that we see in the market. Move of further the magnitude almost touched the all time high and rally is now extended to ten to fourteen percent of up more and it's you know, from the previous swing loss. Strong and fire buys can be seen for the thirteenth day consecutive. All the momentum in the trend indicators are bullish. The open interest put call ratio is bullish. Strong of high buying, expansion of the Bollinger Bands, and the price patterns are bullish. All this you know, studies shows that the probability of the continuation of the bull rally is what can happen. 18,000 to 43,000 has been held. That's a key thing. Right? Therefore, the market view remains to be mild, for the, mild bullish for the next day. So, the which is spiking is a concern because markets is at a crucial zone. There's a narrowing ascent in which that I have said earlier. Neckline resistances of the rounding patterns there. So, we had the cautious on that. That may indicate some posts. So, posts are natural, healthy corrections are natural that could come at any time. Just have to calculate how much it can pull away from the Fibonacci retracement tools and several to support, you know, previous swing lows and all that support level analysis. That's what you know, we have to anticipate that we're not getting personal bets. So, retracements can come in any time, right? Market cannot continuously rally up vertically, it cannot do that. No, if it is skyrocketing, it will fall down also rocket in the same way as a rocket, right? So we are to be cautious on that. So tomorrow's levels is 18,200, on the Nifty and 43 final and 44,000 final with the bank Nifty. So if you need to expand is that tomorrow, so you can take, take advantage of that little is more nowadays. So 19,400 and 19,700 is what the open interest charts and the charts are indicating. Rest in zones for the bank on the medium term, not for the not for tomorrow, and for the medium term is 18 final, 44,150. On the bank nifty on the upside and downside supports going to be 1700 and 42000 on the bank nifty so that's what it is the mild view the mild bullish views remains you know we are at the rounding pattern and the major resistance zone the breakout from here could be requiring some more consideration or could be an easy one you never know what could be. but as of now it's extremely bullish from all the parameters that we studied so that's a view hope this has brought in some clarity for making, making a better trade plan for tomorrow so if you like this 
cursor hitting the like button and then subscribe please if you are not subscribed and share it to maximum if you're not subscribed please do subscribe and share it to friends we appreciate your help in this world thanks for watching happy trading happy learning happy investing bye bye